Right, so I don't know how far I am into this, how much you've seen, how much is recorded. I'm just taking these wings off the transporter, trying to get the front end off it. Um, we've got it on the ramp because we've got wheels off and everything like that, and I can't get access to the back two bolts, which is a bit annoying. So It looks a bit brutal, but we've just cut the wing off, and I'll deal with it when the van's back down on the floor. So... I thought, that, I thought we'd have a look together, assuming you can still hear me, about how beautiful these are when you take these off. So if we tilt that down, assuming you can see what we're on about there, so don't need to be right in my face. So basically I've just slipped the, the wing down the side here. If you can see that, yeah, um, just so we can get it off. That bolt down there, you might have seen in the other video, I was going to try and use a cutting socket, but it's that rotten, I've just had to cut it off, so we'll have to deal with that while the wing's off as well. So we can get rid of that. Oh, that looks charming, doesn't it? So, usual thing again, looks like it's full of filler. We'll grab a little screwdriver and we'll have a nosy at it, but I'll just show you this wing first. So most people will come and you get a bit of rust on the outside of the wing. 
So you can see that's what's on this side of the wing. So I'm just making sure you can see. I'm looking, trying to look at the uh, screen at the same time to see what you're seeing. Um, so you'll get some bubbling like that. When you turn it round, you can see how rotten they are from the back. So when you try and fix it from the outside, uh, you can treat it, do whatever you like with it. It will come back because it, you can't bloody see it out, can you? Because of all the rot in it. So, kind of a bit annoying for the customer explaining why we have to either replace wings or chop out new bits and pieces. Most customers understand. It's easier when you've got a video because it's easy to show somebody, isn't it? So, um, we would save, ordinarily as well, we would save the old panels so you can see what we've done and um, why we've done it, that type of thing. Uh, right. I'll grab a little screwdriver and I'll be back. Right, I'm back again, old faithful. Some pliers as well. So I'm going to move you a bit closer. I'm assuming, not that you'll talk back to me, but I'm, I'm assuming you can see what we're trying to achieve here. We've got all this. Uh, Pretty gross. Right, so we'll get that cleaned as well. You can see it's been painted a couple of times in the past. You can see the red overspray. You can see the primer, which will be the whiter colour. And the compressor started up now, so I'll. Uh, join you back in a minute right while the compressor was running I just cut that last sliver of the wing off make more sense now so just for fitting up purposes and making sure the wings are right I can get access to these 10 mils nails that are behind you the reason why I couldn't do it if I haven't already said is because the wheels are off and it's on a two post ramp so when you open up the doors they hit the ramp um, but I don't want it hindering me or anything like that so I'm, that's why I've cut it off just so it's out of my way so basically there's a grab the wire brush um, so just give this a quick clean to see what we've got here So what we've got here is more than likely what's happened is um, the rot's come through on the wing, they've filled through the wing and this is what's all stuck along here. Assuming you can see, let me take you out of here a minute. So you can see along there, there's a little bit there that looks like some sort of gunk or sealant of some description. Could be factory, could be factory. It's not normally leave, well judging by the back one actually, it had a, a huge bead of uh, sealer on the back. I can't imagine that came out of the factory to be honest. Let's just see if we can get some of this off for a minute. I might have to warm this up, just so we can get some of it off. And just have a look. I think, if I remember right, there we go. You think with how many of these that we've actually done here, you think you remember this stuff, wouldn't you? But that's a big, one big sealer band, if you like. 
So that's th th there's a good chance that probably is. That's all sealer. It looked like fiberglass at the top here because it was really dark. So, um, so yeah, what we'll have to do is get the uh, get these cleaned back up. You can see the big chunks of it. So when we refit the wings, we'll have to make sure we seal that up as well. Hopefully a bit tidier than that. Um, as for the uh, rot, um, it looks like sort of surface along here. Let's take it back out again. So along here, you can see that's the one I had to cut off. It's only one of these little U nuts. Um, so I'll just cut that one off and we'll fit a new one to that. Job done then, so there's no stress. Um, so all, all this behind here, we're going to, because we've exposed it all, we're going to have to clean that, treat that, and more than likely epoxy that I think is going to be the nicest thing, and possibly put a bit of paint on it or something. Uh, these are, are coated anyway, which looks like some sort of epoxy from the factory. So that's more than likely what we'll do down here, just brush something on. Um, unless we've got some in the gun, like we're doing another job, then we might spray something. But normally with a small amount like that, we'll just brush it in. Then you get a nice thick layer. Um, so yeah, we'll clean these off. So this side doesn't look too bad, so that's good. Uh, there is the usual thing. That's an awful lot of rubbish down there on the floor. Which is uh, a good thing we've got all that out. Uh, so we'll get all that cleaned up. Um, what have we done with that? So, oh, let's see. These sorts of things will ruin... Is the, oh, there we go, we're still on. These sorts of things will ruin a good job. Because you'll have a nice fresh wing going on there. It's all painted nice and glossy. And then you've got that sat behind it, which looks horrible. So we'll give these a good scrub and we'll try and black this and possibly put some uh, something. Worst case is, I'll have a word with the customer, he might want a new one. Um, to be honest with you though, it should scrub up alright. So. Um, right, so that's that side. So what I'll do is I'll save you, uh, save you looking at me in the van a bit more. I'll take off the other side again. I'll have to do it the same way. I'll take off the other side and then we'll have a look at that one as well, just just so we can see what's going on. Right, back soon. Right, back again. We've got uh, got this side off now. Again, it's all full of stuff again, but it's, it's going to happen. Look at the front here. Look. So basically all the dust and stuff from the road or wherever it's been sat will just fly in sometimes and because it can't get out it just it just stays there so uh, again we'll get the uh, scraper on it just get rid of all of that make sure it's uh, what I'm checking for really is make sure there's no rot in the inner pieces we know we've got in the outers so like in the back panel there was a few surprises in the back there if you've seen the previous video you'll understand what I mean we're supposed to be putting quarters on and we've had to make good a few areas uh, which isn't um, isn't uh, the best thing really so we'll get this cleaned off Yeah, so that bit's sealer's done its job, if you like. So I mean, we can't grumble at that, can we? 
Um, we know we're going to be cutting out the front arches, like I just said. Just put that back down. Um, I just that's better there. Um, yeah, so we know we're going to be cutting out arches anyway, the outers, possibly some little bits of the sill. Um, but I'm just trying to make sure they're all right, which is nice. So what we'll do is, why we're on this video, naturally it's organised, there we go. We'll just grab one of the new, uh, new wings quickly so we can all have a look. Right, I'm just going to grab a loose bolt. Bear with me with the camera work. I know further. Ooh, where are we? Right. I think that's going to actually need more than more than one hand. There we go. Now we're talking. Right. I'll just put a bolt in there just so we can have a nosy. If you're anything like me, you're impatient and you like to you like to see these things. So basically, that actually fits nice. So I'm just going to hold that up for now, look, because it's not, it's not bolted up at the minute, but you can see roughly what we're doing. So you see. Uh, all new wing. It'll all make sense once we start the paint process. It's just, um, I like to make sure everything fits first. Right, okay, it fits, take it back off and then we can start prepping and stuff like that, so. A lot of stuff will happen quite quickly. It'll look like you've done nothing for ages and then all of a sudden it's, there's, there's like 10 things painted, so. Um, it just depends on how we can, how we can get on it. Generally, Metalworks first job. Once that's out of the way, we can start tidying everything up, a bit of filler work, get everything organised. Everybody's got their own way of doing stuff. It's just we like to get all the metal work and welding, welding done first, because then we can uh, we don't have to worry about any sparks or any uh, flameage or anything like that. So it's just easier that way. Easier for us anyway. Some people might, uh, if they've got two people on it, somebody might be at the back, somebody might be at the front. Uh, somebody might do the whole thing and then it moves to a different department. All, all depends on your setup and how you're doing it. If you're doing it at home, you would probably work on one corner at a time and then move your way around. What is dangerous to a lot of people we've seen is uh, they'll strip the whole thing out and then it sits for years. So sometimes it's better to do, just strip what you need to, weld in that panel, make sure it's all treated and done what you need to do. And then you can rebuild the inner and everything like that. So you're not, certainly if you're keeping it the same color anyway. If you're gonna be changing colors and stuff like that, then leave the lights out and stuff like that, so. Uh, these headlights can stay in as far as I'm aware at the moment. We're not painting anything in the engine bay or anything like that. We're not painting under the bonnet from what I understand as well. Um, it's mainly, we're doing door shuts, sliding door. Uh, so from the outside it'll look a different red. We spoke about it in a previous video. Uh, but under the bonnet and that type of thing, that would be removing engine and everything to paint it all properly and to be honest I don't know if you can see that very very little on show to actually bother to paint anyway so it'd be an awful lot of labor hours just to paint that so most people don't they just leave it as it is and I've, I've had one guy uh, tell me he's going to black it when he gets home, so I'm guessing sight and black in an aerosol or something, and he's just spray it when he gets home. But uh, um, everybody's different. So right, we'll call that a day. Um, this video will carry on anyway. 
but um, and I might end up chopping all this out because I'm waffling but we'll try and get some welding done on the front on this video so we can see a bit of progress on that the um, I might see some on the back as well. This video might be a bit longer, so I'll shut up because I'm I'm waffling, uh, and I'll see you. Yeah, bye for now. Like and subscribe. Right, welcome back. Not that you've gone anywhere, I don't think. This video has just carried on, but I forget where I am. We've got so much going on at the minute. I'm still a man down, so trying to work on loads of things at the same time. So I can't remember where I left this, so if this carries on, brilliant. If it doesn't, I apologise. But we've got the arches out. I think you've seen that already. So we've just cleaned up these edges now. Let me just take you off of here. So what we're looking for is a nice clean surface to do our welding or weld the new panel to. I think I've shown you these already, we've got new arches. We're not going to fit the whole thing because we don't need to, we just need this outer lip. So we're going to trim this off, You're too close to me now. Going to trim this off and then we'll make that fit. Um, so yeah, we'll get the grinder organised and stuff like that. I'm going to try and put you on time lapse again so hopefully that works it didn't last time uh, right yeah I'll get on So I've on purpose left that a tiny bit longer. Um, basically, the main if you can see what I'm doing. The main reason is I can trim this back to suit what we've got. Then, although these panels are somewhere close, they're not. Well, they're somewhere close. They're not exact. So we do this. It allows us a little bit more wiggle room if we need it, and we can get on with it then. But that'll be something like that. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. So I'm going to get this trim back down. 
I'll probably do that by hand with some snips, so I'll go and get them and then we'll have a look. We'll have a look again. Right, I've got it um, about where I want it now. Done a bit of trimming. Got my gloves. So not everybody's into, I, I prefer these TIG gloves because you can work in them. Um, we're doing quite small detailed work if you like, so on stuff like that it's better to have, I think anyway, your fingers so you can actually feel them. We do have um, the thick gauntlets as well, so if we're going to do lots of welding, there's going to be lots of heat involved, then we'd use the other ones, but on stuff like this we just use these. Um, hopefully you can see, my goodness, there we go, apologies for the camera angles by the way, I'm not a cameraman, but that's going to fit something like that, if that makes sense, hopefully you can see that, um, so normally what I'd do is I would, um, start up here, get this nice and level and then work my way around. Once this corner's welded, if I need to move that anywhere, hopefully you can see that, I can do that from this corner you see, so we can get it perfect. So what I'm going to do, uh, on the back ones they're bonded, on these ones they're actually welded through, so I'm going to go and pop some holes in here uh, so we can plug weld through them same as what was done before um, and then we'll get this uh, although these are coated anyway because I've been grinding on it I like to just give them another coat of some zinc primer you can see I've already zinced in here because uh, I don't want any more rust coming or anything like that in the future so that's that one right I'm going to get some holes done and I'll be back right this is video is going to be made up of loads of little clips but um, as you can see, we've got the quarter in. Not finished yet, but... Uh, right, back again. Just been informed I'm picking the kids up, so I'm going to have to kind of cut this video where it is. It's already miles too long, I think, anyway. But just so you can see kind of what we've been doing. The quarters are in. It's not far off uh, now, that quarter. Just wants a bit of fitting, a bit of finishing, sorry. Um, so, as I was just showing you anyway, punch the nails in that. You see it's coated. Just, there you go. just drying. We normally uh, use the weld too. Zinc primer, UPO one. It's just one I've used for years. You're just uh, throwing stuff on the floor in. There we go. Um, yeah, it's just one I've used for years. That one. There's a million different other types out there, I'm sure. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have to cut that fine this video, but that arch is sort of ready to go in now, and then. Uh, We'll make sure we get that into the next video, which will hopefully start turning up a bit more frequently again. Um, right, so I'll leave you for now, and I will uh, be back again soon. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, don't. Thumbs down. <laughs> uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It's always appreciated. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.